My name is Christine and I will be with you for today's lesson. It's lovely to be here. Um, as you can see, I'm all wrapped up because it's very cold um, here in England. Um, so I do apologize for, for, for having to wear hats and everything and look, look like a snowball, but um, it is very cold. Um, so today we will be talking about personal finances. Um, and uh, I'd like to know, how do you manage your personal finances and has your management of personal finances changed over the last year? Um, I know the situation in India is pretty good financially at the moment economically. India is doing very well, but have you had to make any adjustments um, at all um, since COVID or anything like that? Um, so I'd like to know more ab uh, about that area and maybe if you plan on, on adjusting your finances um, later on. So let's start off with uh, Arush. Arush, are you there? Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to Ananya. Ananya, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yeah. Hi, Christine. Hi, everyone. My name is Ananya and I'm currently at Hyderabad pursuing my post-graduation uh, in business management. And uh, today, today's day was quite rough for me because uh, I had three exams back to back and um, two exams were pretty well, but the last exam I screwed very bad. Yeah, and I am literally um, very, uh, I connected with Arush when he said that, you know, he's very poor in maths. And so I think, um, yes, Arush, the same goes with me. I am also a little bit, uh, you know, um, lagging behind in uh, finance. And yeah, so finance was not good for me today. Uh, otherwise, uh, the day was pretty good. The weather here is uh, good and it was sunny in the morning, but now it has uh, the temperature has been low and it's cold here also. Not as cold as in England, but I, yeah, I <laughs> but it's pretty cold here. So yeah, today that's it from my side. Okay. And what were the exams that you had? What, what uh, subjects were they? Yeah, it was uh, today we had uh, the subject finance and uh, human resource management mm -hmm. so yeah human resource management was good uh, the legal management was good but uh, finance I just didn't do good okay very good okay well not very good that you didn't do good at, at, at the finance management <laughs> yeah yeah I get it um, <laughs> but very good that you've done that you've done those exams yes so is it you? Are you feeling like you've not done well? Or do you know that you've not I done think, well? Yes, uh, I think uh, generally I haven't done well because the average is going to be a little bit higher than I expected. I expected myself to perform a little better than what I did today. So I think that's my expectation, which I didn't reach. So for that reason, I think I didn't do good. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the reason I ask is because I used to do the same thing um, and say that I didn't do well and then worry everyone and then get a really good mark and everyone hates me because I'm <laughs> um, <laughs> So, okay, so how do you manage your personal finances? So I'm sorry, it's more finance for you today. Um, but uh, personally, how do you manage that? Okay, so um, being a student, I think uh, I am already 23 plus and I should know how to manage finance because uh, that's how I am going to, um, you know, that's how is going to be my life in further years also. It's going to benefit me in several ways. So I think um, after the age of 20, I just put on a regular practice of uh, saving first and, you know, spending later. So I think that's the thing. And uh, although I am not earning right now, but uh, everyone gets the pocket money. I am even fortunate enough to get the pocket money. So how do I manage my personal finance according to the pocket money, I'll say. If I, uh, for example, if I get uh, a 15,000 um, in Indian currency, 
then what I do is I know how much I have to save. I have in mind that, you know, I have to save a 5,000 Indian currency in uh, my bank and the rest of 10,000 will be divided into two parts. That is one your needs and the 5,000 is your wants. And even uh, it's a monthly thing. If you cannot save that, um, obviously your uh, needs are very important. You have to fulfill it. So the 5,000 goes away. 5,000 stays in my bank and 5,000 is for wants. What, uh, what I eventually uh, end up buying or, you know, for the online shopping or something emergency comes up. So that's how I use it. Otherwise, it also gets saved if I don't have any urgent requirements. So that's how, that's the three um, thing uh, which I do with my um, a sum of the amount. And that's how I manage basically. Otherwise, I think uh, you know, that has, this is the only reason which has let me save so much of money uh, in my bank account right now as a student. So I think this is how I practice it. Otherwise, uh, uh, there is no specific thing that I have learned uh, to manage personal finance. But yes, this is how I have just inculcated in myself. I haven't learned it from somewhere or something. Okay. Okay, yeah. good. And uh, has there been a change over, over the last few years with regards to your finance? Um Yes, obviously, there was a change because, you know, uh, as you already mentioned that uh, the COVID has hit us so bad that uh, the whole world was suffering. Uh, so as India did, and um, that particular time, um, fortunately, my parents both are working in uh, the government jobs and uh, they, they were secured. But uh, I had seen some of my friends, those who were in private sectors and um, my family members, some uh, my brothers, my cousins, and they were just, you know, their um, salary was just reduced to half and they had to work with that because uh, the economy um, wasn't stable at that particular period of time. Everything was going down and there was a lot of unemployment because uh, many people were shutting down their startups. Many companies were just, you know, lay laying off the employees and that was a very rough period. But uh, people anyhow managed it because because they had that idea of saving the money I think um, that has only saved them from the uh, pandemic period because uh, personally I saw my cousins they had saved a lot of money and even if they were not uh, scared of getting out of the company because they knew that uh, someday this pandemic is going to end and uh, they'll start earning again because they had the skills but uh, at that particular time, they weren't uh, even, uh, you know, fearful that uh, something uh, uh, has hit us and we can be laid off uh, because they had saved a lot of money. That's their tactics. Uh, that's what they did. They saved uh, near about 60% of their money and 40% they have already, um, you know, they have um, spent it on their expenses. Otherwise, uh, I think the saving is most important when it comes to personal finance because you never know what's uh, what is going to happen next because nobody predict uh, you know predicted that uh, something so huge like um, corona will come and hit us so bad but it happened and we had a uh, lift all way through it so I think uh, that has taught many of us that um, start saving um, whenever uh, you get a uh, a uh, you know lump sum amount or when uh, even when you are getting a monthly uh, uh, income you should save it because that's how it's going to save you in emergency it's not just about the pandemic but it's also about the personal thing uh, even if you fall sick or any of your member falls sick which I definitely do not want to but yeah that happens uh, sometimes it uh, really helps you I think saving is the most important thing. otherwise the second thing I think uh, which uh, people like us the the youngster should always understand that investing is very important if you're earning a good amount every month I think uh, uh, just uh, investing 10 or 20 percent of it is really necessary because you get a higher you know return rate 
so i think that makes your uh, amount double so that is a very um, crucial thing which every youngster every young people should know mm-hmm. and they should start investing because i think that's uh, also the way um, you can just um, get out of any emergency situation you face very good thank you yeah. very much for that nananya thank you very well informed as well <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, okay, let's move on to Lijul. Hi, Lijul. Hello, Christine. Hi. Hello. Pardon, Hi. Me for my, pardon me for my dark background today. Oh, no, that's okay. No worries. Um, so, Lijul, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? I believe you've had exams as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes introduce yourself tell us a bit about your day and move on to today's question hello hi everyone i'm lijil mahapatra and i'm born and brought up in odisha I'm currently pursuing my mba from ik5 business school hyderabad and about my day i'll uh, say christine my both of my exams went really well one of the subject that i am actually good at is economics as i did my graduation and a bs in economics so yeah it was pretty good and the other one was career management and uh, that went to good as well so yeah i'm happy right now and yeah we had uh, like a uh, uh, we had a sort of uh, party tonight because our event went really well so uh, the events that i mentioned earlier so one of them went really well and our seniors were just you know bit pampering us with a good party tonight and uh, i was so outside for that reason is my background black and all oh, and uh, coming to the question of the day i will say christine like i belong to finance fa- like out of business family being honest so um, from the start, beginning of the life i have seen ups and downs as le- like in monetary terms a lot there have been profits there have been losses as well so accordingly i've always accommodated my finance because every time my father was not able to send that much of pocket money to me what i expected because uh, by the age of 16 i was already out of the house and i was living in a hostel and all so coming uh managing my finance i i will say like i don't know um but i will say that i value even 1 rupee because uh 1 rupee used to fetch me my uh, leave form that i i used to get it from my hostel to go to home so i really appreciate my father for this like he contributed a lot to me to learn the finance and all because um, he lo- made me learn that uh, it is better you know cut the coat according to your cloth he taught mm-hmm. me that so always uh, it was never stipulated amount of money that i used to get so i had a tendency from my mom of saving i always used to save the you know I, during the new years or during any holidays when our relatives used to give me money and all i used to save it and i used to use it later on for you know as ananya said needs and wants <laughs> they're different so yeah i used to spend it on my wants and all and then uh, right now um like i have a proportion of 3 to 1 and 3 uh, goes for my needs 2 goes for something i have in my heart for a long time but i have to do it and one refers to um, some things that are not that necessary to do but only be done when it is you know you want to go out you want to do party and all that one i save it for those things so that is how i actually divide my finance and uh, yeah my my finance goes monthly actually my father takes a proper detail on what i do and he provides me money accordingly he says me um, you know you have to learn to work out with what you have right now you cannot be uh, you know getting all the things that you want you need to save for that whatever you want so that is how my finance work i'll actually say and uh, ananya mentioned covid times and i'll say india during covid times for business families when never that good for as it does because we incurred a huge amount of losses during that period because the sales were completely down and all of course so accordingly i adjusted my needs and wants according to that only because i never want to overburden my parents with the you know the extra pocket money that i want i usually either earn it for myself or i you know adjust it whatever they give it to me i i'll see that okay very good excellently sure really thank good thank you so much Okay um next we have Gayathri hi Gayathri 
Hi, Christine. I Hi. hope I'm audible and visible. Uh, so you're definitely uh, audible and visible. However, your audio is a bit... Um, yeah yeah bandwidth is slow here i don't know what to do yeah. so if you want to because of the, the audio uh if you want to you can switch off your camera for today so that you that so that you don't lose your audio okay yeah okay, okay. so fantastic so i <laughs> excuse me i'd like you to introduce yourself to everyone and tell us a bit about your day please Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Gayatri Rajiv. I'm from Kerala, currently pursuing my uh, MBA uh, in Ikfai Business School, Hyderabad. And my day was quite normal. We have our exams going on and we got more than one paper a day. Uh, so it's just preparation and classes going on right now. Nothing special is happening. That's it. It's all normal. Very good. Okay. So can you tell me, how do you manage your finances? Uh, yeah. So uh, finance, uh, I'm someone who was financially independent at a very young age. Uh, so uh, normally here in India, you know, we depend a lot on parents, but I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I started working very early. Uh, and uh, even for uh, MBA also, you know, the finance, uh, it, it's not by my parents. I have taken a huge loan on my name itself. And then... Uh, the daily spendings here is also from my account that I, I used to work. Uh, so I have a little bit of savings left. Uh, so the expenses are all from that account. But what I have realized lately is that I'm not that good in savings. I'm only good in spending. So I, I earn a lot, but then I spend a lot. I do I not save. Okay. So, yeah. So now I have improved a lot. Now I have come a long way. Okay. So now what, what made I you do improve? To, yeah. What? So what all I have done is that one thing is uh, I now I maintain three accounts. So one is my FD fixed deposit, which mm -hmm. has a huge amount, and uh, you know a huge interest also will be credited on a monthly basis. So that is there. Then uh, next is the uh, two savings account. So one is savings account to save and one is savings account to spend. So whenever I am earning, I divide it into two. Uh, one portion goes to the savings account and one portion goes to another account to spend. So I use only the spending account nowadays. And also nowadays I track down all my uh, expenses so that I know where I'm spending the most. And uh, last month, what I have found is that uh, I'm spending a lot for shopping and food. So, Excellent. yeah, now I have improved that I'm not going for shopping nowadays. Excellent. Okay. And uh, food, yeah, I cannot control that now because I'm staying in hostel and mm -hmm, you, you might be knowing how hostel food is. Uh, so, oh, yes. Yeah, when I'm I go outside, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, when I go outside, I do not have any limit on spending for food. So yeah, for some time, there is no limit for food, but yeah, shopping, I have controlled a lot. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, next we will go to uh, Raj Shri. Hi, Raj. Hello, Raj Shri. Hello. Hi, Raj Shri. Hello, Hello, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yeah, uh, hello, I'm Rajshree. Actually, I was busy in my uh, uh, departmental exam. That's why I was not able to attend the, class, uh, the discussion classes and all. That's okay. So, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm Rajshree from Vanastili University. I, I've done my uh, master's of social work from Vanastili. And very, very, very much early, I was in my hostel. So at the age of the nine or 10. So uh, I know how, how the importance of the money. That's why I always uh, in, kept in my mind for the savings. Because uh, uh, that time uh, I was uh, uh, in two, 2004, 2004, okay? 
so that time uh, my parents gave me uh, 1000 rupees only for this uh, for the spending uh, for 6 months uh, from june month to uh, sep- uh, november month okay uh because uh, the vacations the wali vacations was on um, uh, november or october whatever mm-hmm. so uh, we have to keep all the money very carefully using carefully uh, in my hostel so very few few amounts of the uh, 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 money we using for all the products and everything okay for the uh, stationery and everything so i know how much the importance of the money that's why i i always save my um, uh, save my mind for the uh, expenditures and all so uh, now i am uh, one simple example for um, uh, for me that was my uh, for my priority basis after my job um, i thought for every time um, i uh, whenever i w- i will get my job i will purchase some diamonds for me so for me and for my mother i will get my job then i purchased everything everything for my mother and means jewelry gold jewelry and and whatever she wants for own self and i save my, uh, my finance for the for her and for me myself and i used to do always savings for the fd uh, uh, for the sip Uh, systematic mm-hmm. investment plans so um, for very few years i lost so so money for not much more but i used to save all the uh, savings for me for my futures and uh, everyone says for the said for the uh, uh, covid 19 and everything so everyone faces all the problems because i am doing my government uh, i am doing job in government uh, institutions so i know very well for the uh, the salary issues okay the government how much pay to us and the um, uh, they get um, late sometimes and every time because the funds are not available for us that's why they get in for 2 to 3 3 months after so i always save for myself for the uh, after 6 months and it is for using for me that is my the finance for my personal yeah thank you excellent very good and rashri have yeah. how has your your um savings your personal finance changed uh, ever since covid did it change at yeah. all during covid yeah 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 um at uh, that time um, i know the value of the uh, every time i know the value of the money but after the covid i um, uh, i was i was shopping for the uh, dresses and everything for uh, uh, any anything but uh, whatever i thought i i will purchase i purchased that time okay but now this time uh, i know the uh, i know the importance so i always used to save for the future and before the covid uh, the covid is started in india uh, from march 19th of the march the lockdown was on 19th after 19th or 21 uh, uh, i just yeah before that i used my the whole savings whole savings in january 2020 for purchasing my scooty okay not my whole savings it was very few savings for me uh, but i i i saved uh, so um, so much uh, uh, not by the money it was the uh, it was uh, 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 the fd and everything but mm-hmm. i i invested in scooty that's why i was i felt very very bad for me but the 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 salary the sal- my sal- i get my salary uh, that time so uh, after that i thought for the savings and yeah i used to save Yeah, very in, good. In my different, in my different savings accounts, actually, I have two savings accounts. So I save my money in that account for the personal uses and the for the professional uses. Yeah, means gadgets and everything for using Excellent. professional. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rashri. Thank you, Christine. Okay, so my question to you now, Gayatri. Gayatri, I did not ask you. How did th- things change for you during COVID? 
um, things change for me. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so Gayathri. In, in Gayathri. Gayathri, not Rajshri. I was okay, asking okay, that. sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's sorry. okay. So Gayathri, how did your finances change? Uh, for me, um, like I was doing um, offline and online. So yeah, offline it affected. I couldn't go uh, anywhere. But then I was do all, also doing the content writing and stuff, which can be done in online. And uh, yeah, I used to get a uh, good some amount in that. Uh, okay. So actually, to be very honest, uh, for me, it hasn't affected much. Also, yeah, my family also, uh, everybody's into government jobs and everything. So uh, if financially, we didn't have to, fortunately, fortunately, uh, we haven't suffered anything like that. Uh, we were all good. Excellent. Very good, guys. Okay, um, so we're coming towards the end of the session. Do, do you have anything you'd like to comment on? Anything you'd like to say? Anything you like from your friends, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I have an uh, mm -hmm. advice to everybody that is uh, from the life itself. So what we normally do is uh, we earn and then we spend that is earning uh, minus expense is what we save. But now I have realized that what is best to do is earn earnings uh, minus saving should come first and remaining should be ex uh, used for expense. So yeah, uh, first you save, then you uh, spend, which Excellent. will improve your financial status uh, to a great extent. I think that's a very good idea. First you yeah. save and then you spend because at least then you know how much you're spending from your savings. And mm -hmm. once you touch your savings, um, we all know that it doesn't feel comfortable anymore. Um, uh, that they're, they're not something that you like to touch. Exactly. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, Christine, uh, yeah. one thing, single thing, one thing, one thing. Yes, of course. Hello. Yes. Hello. Are you audible? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you audible? Yes, I can hear Actually, you. Actually, your video, video is not visible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, one thing is that uh, uh, if the person have the uh, thing for the responsibility of uh, their family members or uh, its own self, then they will save for the um, uh, money. Like my brother. My brother is a have so many responsibility for uh, for his, his family but 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 he don't want to save anything for um, for himself because he he have uh, the habit of the uh, expending money for uh, uh, home decoration and everything so mm -hmm. that is the point my my point is that if you want to save if you if you kept in my your mind to, like yeah you you have to save then you will have to spend after the some time. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rashri. Yeah. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Um, so today we discussed personal finances and how we manage them. And it's been lovely getting uh, your feedback and what you do and some tips. Um, so thank you very much for sharing. And uh, especially because it's quite a, sometimes it's quite a topic our personal finances is not something exactly that we talk about. So thank you for sharing. Um, and I look forward to seeing you once again tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely evening. Um, and uh, I'll see you see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Christine. Bye. Bye, Christine. Bye. Bye.